Welcome to Coffee and Conversation for ESL Listening. I'm Danielle. And I'm Christina. So grab a cup and join the conversation. Hey, Christina, how are you doing? So good I'm to doing, see you. <laughs> good to see you too. It's been a while. It um, has. We've been super busy. Um, I don't know about you. I think you said you got sick. I was sick. Oh, gosh. It's been going around. So, yeah, it's yes. been super busy. But you have some exciting things happening. Like, didn't you go on the cruise recently? I sure did. Yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> well, I paid for it because I came home and I got sick, as <gasps> always. You know, right? As long as you've known me, don't I get sick after every vacation? Yes, every time you travel, you for some reason you get sick. I don't know what is it with you. I, I don't know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but oh yeah, we had a lot of fun. So this was a girls' trip. So um, my two friends um, and I we went for a cruise to Mexico. It was hilarious. So it was no no boys with us, <laughs> no men, no kids, and that was great. Um, nice. And. I was saying, you know, Christina needs to come with us next time for sure, because it's just so much fun. Yeah. And you know, the girls, we'd all have a great time. So you have to do that. But um, the most hilarious thing happened. Um, I just thought I would tell you just something funny that happened on that cruise. Well, actually before the cruise. So Ooh. we flew to um, to Houston and then we had to take um, take the cruise from Galveston, which was like an hour drive away from there. So we came the day before and we spent the night and we had some fun. And then we got up early the next morning, took an Uber to the port. And we get out and we've got our little suitcases and we're walking up to the port. We're like, hey, where is everybody? Our Uber is gone. Some guy comes out and says, hey, ladies, are you trying to go on a cruise today? And we're like, um, yes. He says, you're at the wrong port. <gasps> yeah. And our Uber was gone. And so we're like, well, can we walk it? And he says, well, yeah, you can. It's kind of far, though. We're like, okay. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, it was so crazy. So here we are. We're like kind of tired. We'd been out late the night before. And we were like kind of dragging. And here we are with our little suitcases and we're walking. Yeah. And then we see the same guy. He was in like a garbage truck. He was a driver and he passes by and we're like, Oh, okay. Bye. And he comes back a couple minutes later. He circles around and he says, ladies, I flagged down a, a cop for you and she's going to take you to the port. So we're like, what? And by the way, flag down in case people don't know what that means. It's like, you know, someone's driving by and you're like, Hey, Hey, come on over. So we're like, what? Really? A cop? A police officer? And he's like, yeah. Yes. I know. Come on. So she's got a pickup truck because it's Texas. And mm -hmm. so we all come piling into this car, into the truck, and we're just laughing hysterically because it's so ridiculous. Only us would be taken to the port with our suitcases in the back of the pickup by a police officer. Oh, so, my yeah. gosh. So we roll, we, we roll up to the port and we get out and people are looking at us like we're crazy, right? And one of the girls, she takes a picture of me and I said, send it to my husband with no explanation. <laughs> so he responds a couple minutes later. He said, uh-oh, she's in trouble already. <laughs> you always get into some crazy situations when you travel it's like it is true it wouldn't be you if there wasn't a story coming from you when you travel but i'm kind of jealous now i'm really jealous that i wasn't on that trip <laughs> oh yeah it was so funny and we were just laughing because we were like how ridiculous is this you know and people looking at us like what's going on <laughs> at least you didn't have to ride in the back of a garbage truck <laughs> yeah <laughs> is that where you <laughs> thought it was going <laughs> That's why I thought I was like, no way she was in the garbage truck going to the port. I don't know. But it, at first it kind of looked good. I was like, oh, I, I do it. I don't want to walk. But oh, anyway. Oh, gosh. That's hilarious. 
That's so yeah, story. I wanted to share that with you, and uh, I thought the listeners might find that funny. So yes, that's oh. how we made it to the to the <laughs> ship, and oh, but it was a fun trip. So thank you. Oh, good, good, good. That's good. So, um, sort of along the lines of trips and things like that, we have a fun, um, I think, fun topic today, and hopefully, we can make this a series. Um, we're talking about a place in the United States that you and I probably, it's something that we both know very well. You know, I used to live there and you, you don't live live close by. Super (laughs) close, but you know, you can get there easily. Yeah. So anyway, um, Chicago, we're talking about Chicago and yeah. And we thought maybe, you know, if people um, are thinking about coming to visit the United States and want to know a little bit more about some of the the tourist places here mm-hmm. it might be something fun to share. Right. Right. So, well, and if, mm-hmm. go ahead. If Sorry. Need, I feel like um, our listeners might have already learned from about us that there's two things we really like <laughs> traveling and eating. <laughs> yes. Both of which we will cover today. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh. All right. So first of all, Chicago, where is it? Um, it is in the state of Illinois. And a lot of people mispronounce this. There is an right. S on the end of that state name, but we do not pronounce it. It is Illinois, not Illinois. Right. And it's part of the Midwest. And if you look at a map, you might wonder, why is this called the Midwest? It's nowhere near the West. Not even mid. <laughs> Right. So what is it? I always wondered, what is this story or why was why is it called Midwest? You know, I think it has to do a lot with, you know, before the country expanded as far west as it did, probably at some point it was Midwest because our country wasn't that, you know, hadn't expanded that far. And right. plus, I think they said something like west of the, the Mississippi River. And so that's sort of like that area was the Midwest. Right. Yeah. Which, you know, it makes sense because when, when immigrants were coming from, you know, other countries and it, a lot of them started in like New York area or, um, I don't know, Pennsylvania, kind of on the East Coast. So when people were saying we're going West, right, that would right. be the rest of the United States. And I guess there is a Midwest and then there's a Far West. <laughs> Yeah, near exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, so makes- is this sort of a generic term? And and you can't even really get people to agree which states are part of the Midwest. You know, some people are like, oh, yeah, this one is part of it. But other people say, no, that's not. But I think Illinois is definitely considered to be the Midwest. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. So um, and it's next to the... Um, to Lake Michigan, right? So you'll find Chicago at the southernmost part of uh, Lake Michigan. So you'll have a nice long area of beach access. So it makes it quite beautiful to look out the the water. And yeah, so it's very nice, but it also makes it very cold. Yes. 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 The winters get super, super cold. And whew, yeah. Chicago is a cool city, but I don't miss that. <laughs> right. And you've lived there. So you definitely experienced winters living in a city. I mean, I only usually go there for a couple of days or so or a day or a quick trip because I live about two and a half hours south from Chicago. Right. So it is it could be a quick trip for me. Usually I try not to go there and back in one day because there's so much to do in Chicago or in the Chicago area, but I don't usually go there in winter. No matter what it's like to live in Chicago during the winter. And- <laughs> yes. And even worse, I work downtown, which is right by the water and the winds, I mean, the, just... It, you know, you can almost be blown over as the when you're trying to like walk down the street. I mean, it was crazy, really, really crazy. It is not a fun walk to take in the dead of winter. So it makes sense that another name for Chicago is yes, the Windy City. 
That's yeah. Right. And actually, you know, there are people who kind of argue about what that actually means. And I think it's sort of a combination of two things, because certainly you can't deny that the city is windy. The name has to come from that. But um, also there's some story that apparently Chicago is historically known for having some kind of crazy politicians and very full of themselves, very arrogant and always, you know, talking, uh, quote, they're full of hot air, people will say. Oh. Yeah. So it has to do with both of those things. But for my for my money, it's the actual wind and cold. <laughs> when you think about Chicago in the winter, I know you're not really there very often, but maybe you can imagine. Um, there is a city in another part of the world that they say is similar to the climate of Chicago. Any guess what city that might be? That if similar climate mm -hmm. in another part of the world. Yes. It's not Ukraine, I can tell you that. <laughs> A lot no, of people say it's similar. Yeah, but mm, we, we don't. No. It's the, the humidity part is not, there's not as much in Ukraine. It's, yeah, it's also true. humid in Chicago. Um, I can't think of it. What is it? It is Bucharest, Romania. Oh, really? Yeah. I had never heard of that before, but I thought, oh, that's interesting. Interesting. So if we have any huh. students from that area, um, then you'll know what Chicago weather is like. <laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. And Romania is kind of close. Yeah, like the eastern part of Europe there, too. And Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Mm hmm. Okay, so now let's talk about population. There are approximately 2.7 million inhabitants of Chicago. So fairly big city. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's the third largest city in the country. Uh, we've got New York, LA, and then Chicago. Um, LA is bigger by, by size, but Chicago is more densely populated. Dense means more people per um, for the area. And for those who maybe never heard what LA is, it's Los Angeles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I forget. Everybody <laughs> just refers to it as LA, but sometimes people are like, oh, LA. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do forget yeah. that sometimes. We have a joke here um, when people say, oh, where are you from? And we're like, oh, LA. Really? Lower Alabama. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a good one. <laughs> Yeah. Alabama, so. <laughs> All right. So you were talking about nicknames. Um, second trivia question for you. Uh, can you think oh. of any other nicknames for Chicago? There are a bunch of them. Some of oh, them not so like, nice. Is it called like Chi Town or something like that? Or Chi Town, yep, that's one. And what else? What else did they call it? Chicago? Chicago? I don't know. I don't know. What other <laughs> nicknames are there? You probably know it when you hear it. Um, the second city. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, so why is it the second city, though? Because it's the third by the population, but why is it the question. second? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, so here's the story on that. I don't, I don't have the name of this person, so sorry, I don't have the details. But apparently someone, some famous writer at the time, a long time ago, was from New York and he didn't care for Chicago very much. And he sort of felt like it was a second class sort of city. So as it happens quite often with people, when you give someone um, a derogatory name, sometimes mm -hmm. people embrace that name and take that yeah. as a positive. And that's what happened for Chicago. They took that negative name and they said, yeah, we're the second city. And they started um, a comedy group a very yes. famous comedy group and they adopted that name kind of you know sort of poking fun at and so um and a lot of those second city comedians you've probably seen if you ever watch saturday night live snl That's right they, right a lot of them the, came out of there so it's yeah. quite famous yeah it was a starting kind of starting place for a lot of famous comedians yeah 
Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. That's cool. Um, okay. What about any names? The last one that I, that I thought of that I thought was interesting um, was The City That Works. And yeah, I remember oh. this. I think this was sort of um, um, a campaign by the mayor at the time, uh, mm. but it was on all the trains. Um, you get on the train to go to work and you would see it's the city that works. And it was so annoying to me because it's totally true. Um, snowstorm. Um, your car stuck in the snow. The train is broken. Oh, what time are you going to make it to work? Yeah, you're expected to be there. You can't just call in because the weather is bad. No, no, no. You find a way to get there. <laughs> Interesting. It's true. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't particularly love that moniker too much. Moniker Man. means like a nickname. That's a good word, actually. I haven't heard that one in a while. Moniker. Moniker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cool. yeah, uh, that's a good little intro about some facts on Chicago. Um, so next thing, let's talk about when should we go and what do we do when we go there? And for me, it's been a long mm -hmm. time since I have lived in Chicago and I've only visited a, a few times since then. And wow, it's, um, you know, it changes a lot. Yeah, I feel like just anywhere you go, if you haven't been there in a while, things change. And it's true. Yeah. So from, you know, someone who lived there, when, when would you go there? When do you think was the best time to go there or the most comfortable time to be in Chicago? Well, now I'll tell you, if you search online, when's the best time to go to, to Chicago, they'll tell you not to go in the summer because it's very crowded and it's true. It's very crowded, but that's when all the stuff is happening. And that's when the that's weather true. is possibly going to be the best. Um, you can never say for sure about Chicago what's going to happen at any day, any season, any month. It could be really anything. But your best chance is the summer months. <laughs> really? But it's so hot and humid. Yeah, it could be. There, especially when you're downtown, you know, when you're surrounded by all these skyscrapers, there's all these tall buildings. And it's just so, like, you feel like the heat is trapped in there. Um yeah. I don't know. I thought it wasn't so bad downtown because okay. again, you've got the lake there and there's always a breeze. So mm. it wasn't so bad. I thought downtown, uh, but you said a good word there. Not a lot of people may not know skyscrapers. And those are those very, very tall buildings because they quote scrape the sky. They, they're so <laughs> tall that they like touch and scrape the sky. And don't they have a couple famous ones there in Chicago yes. too? Yes. So um, the one that everybody likes to go to is, I guess I'll call it by the name now. They've changed the name to Willis Tower. Um, but if you live in Chicago or ever lived in Chicago, you'll never call it that. It will forever be the Sears Tower. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's always and you know the name ha the name change happened recently because I remember when it was Sears Towers and you know I haven't been here all my life but yeah and I remember the recent change to Willis Tower. Yeah. It had to be um, like within the last 10 years I'd say mm -hmm. I can't remember but but yeah. yeah Chicago ones do not like change very much. You know if you've <laughs> <laughs> if you've got something that, well, I guess it's like everybody, I suppose, but if you have something that's like an institution, like an iconic thing, and you try to like change it or, you know, call it by a different name, they hate it. The same thing happened, uh, a very famous retail store, Marshall Fields. It's oh, from yeah. Chicago. It's a, yeah, it's an institution. And right. they sold it to Macy's and Macy's opened up there. People were mad. They were out protesting in front of the store with signs. And it's like, honey, it's not coming back. <laughs> yeah. It's all about, you know, capitalism. And <laughs> whoever buys it gets to change the name. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but it, was, it was sad, but, you know, because it is a, a Chicago institution, an iconic part of downtown. But, right. but yes, times change. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we've got the, um, the Willis Tower, aka Sears Tower. We've got the John Hancock Building. Oh um, yeah, that's another one. Actually, 
I don't, I don't know if I've really paid that much attention, but a lot of people say that even though the John Hancock Tower is not as tall, the view is better. Like you can mm. see more. Could be. Yeah. Could be. But they changed that Sears Tower or Willis Tower, whatever it is, I guess, so that you can actually walk. It looks like you're walking over and you're like, like it's, hanging in space kind of. It's, oh, no, thank you. It, I think it's called a sky deck. Yes. So there's, um, I think it tilts. So yeah, kinda, that's what it is. It looks like you're looking down. Oh, no, as you're no, holding no. on to these things. And yeah. <laughs> for somebody who doesn't like heights, it would be a completely terrifying experience. Yes. But yes. I love heights, so I actually enjoy oh, this really? kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, don't. No. <laughs> it's I really cool. No, my stomach just wants to turn over. Yeah. <laughs> I went there when it was just the normal sky deck, and that was enough for me. I don't need to be hanging over. <laughs> Okay, what else we got? We've got um, downtown. There's a ton of things to do. If you like museums, art, wow, there's a, a whole section. And they're, they're quite close um, in the loop area mm -hmm. downtown where you can just go from one museum to another, but you wouldn't really do it because you just need all day for each one practically because they are some very big and famous museums. Yeah. Are you a museum kind of gal? I am actually. I do I do like to go to a museum, especially art. I, I do enjoy going yeah. to art museums and um history museums are cool too. Kinda depends. Um, but art museum is my favorite. Yeah, the art institute is quite famous there. People really like that. Yeah. And I like the Museum of Natural History. Um, yes. Yeah. That's that the one with the dinosaurs, time. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, they're all great. I mean, they really are. So definitely go check those out. Right. So what else? Oh, architecture. Chicago has some really amazing architecture. I think it's fascinating. Yeah. There's just so many different time periods, too, because you, you have really cool architecture from different time, like, um, I don't know, what would you call it? Like from different eras. Yeah. Right? So it's really cool to see. And the thing is, you don't have to notice it because you have to look at certain buildings to see all that. Right. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, like, oh, there's this big monument from this time. Like it's all the buildings. And yes, as you're going through it or walking or, well, Preferably walking, not driving, because driving in Chicago is crazy. No. So you're not going to be able to see architecture. <laughs> but if you're walking around, it's really cool. You have to look up. Always look up and look at the buildings and all the different little details and all the little ornamental things that you wouldn't notice unless you are paying attention to it. I think it's really neat. Really yeah. neat. Yeah. And I feel there's these areas in downtown that you kind of you feel transported to like the 1920s or something. You just feel like, oh, wow, I could, I could just picture how things yeah. looked at that time. Or, you know, the time of the gangsters, because that's another thing. Super oh. popular history for Chicago. Um, it, this is not exactly a, a good piece of history for Chicago. But once again, Chicagoans have taken this negative thing and they've embraced it. They have gangster tours. So for those who don't know, back in the 1930s, um, drinking alcohol was illegal in the United States for a short period of time, I think like eight or nine years. Um, and so gangsters made lots of money um, making and selling uh, illegally alcohol. Right. And there was a lot of violence that went with it. And Chicago was uh, home to some very uh, powerful gangs and mm -hmm. i think they've made a lot of even yeah a lot of movies about yes. mob bobsters and gangs in chicago and all that so yeah it's it, it is a big part of the history there yeah so yeah so yeah definitely take an architecture tour um you know they have these architecture boat ride kind of things <laughs> where you can you can see it yeah it's really cool I did one of them years yeah, me ago, too. <laughs> but 
You know, I just think it, just the layout of the city, you know, the, the fact that it's on the lake and then yeah. you have this river going through town and you, you get on the boat and you can see so much. And I, I think it's just a really cool experience. So if anyone is traveling to Chicago just to, you know, to see the city, a boat tour is a great idea. You get to see a lot. I'm going to learn yeah. a lot about the city too. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. And uh, of course, we've got uh, Navy Pier. That's another big attraction. And Millennium yeah. Park. Um, interesting fact. I used to work literally right next to Millennium Park before it was even there. <laughs> and they were building it just as I was, you know, the last mm -hmm. year or so that I was working there. Um, and now it's a huge attraction. Oh, it's huge tourist attraction. Like everybody, if you, you feel like everybody has to stop at Millennium Park and Go you know, that there's bean. that big bean. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has to take a picture with their reflection in the bean. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, talking about art, I mean, you see lots of art stuff there too, like sculptures and different, you know, more modern things. And it, I think yeah. it's really neat. Um, yeah, but, definitely. Uh, you can walk around and see a lot of sculptures, a lot of art. It's a cool place to visit if you are into architecture and art. Definitely. There's a lot there to see. see? Mm -hmm. There's also, you know, the, the really um, neat and kind of attractive thing about Chicago is neighborhoods. So if you kind of read my mind, <laughs> look at that. When you kind of, you know, go deeper into the city, like staying away from downtown area, you will notice the neighborhoods and th there is the, there's a cultural difference between neighborhoods. You have these neighborhoods from people who came from certain countries and kind of made their own community there. And you yeah. will see, like, sometimes you can see, oh, yeah, I know this is a neighborhood of people from this country or from this culture. Or... So it that's another thing that it's almost, almost kind of makes it, you know, a whole world in one city there because it's so diverse with all of that. Yeah. It's really cool because, you know, if you say, oh, I think I would like some Polish food or I would like some Italian food or some Mexican food, Indian food. Whatever it is that you have a taste for, you can find an area of Chicago that it's actual authentic people living there and opening up restaurants, and you usually get some pretty good food. Well, I remember my first time when I went to Chinatown, and I think that's a very famous landmark <laughs> neighborhood in Chicago. Um, oh, it was great. Yeah. Like, there's all the, you know, little stores and little restaurants and like you are you feel like you're in china like a small part of china is there and you know things are written in chinese and then, um like there is a ukrainian village neighborhood yep. in chicago and i always when i'm there i always try to go there and of course you know i have to load up on groceries from ukraine and other stuff and <laughs> eat ukrainian food and um because it, you know it's always better when you don't have to cook it <laughs> Or but wash the dishes. <laughs> or wash the dishes. But I like I really enjoy going to all these neighborhoods and just the, kind of experiencing that, you know, little part of the world right there. That you yeah. don't have to go far. Exactly. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I definitely love that about Chicago. It's very diverse. All right. So that brings us to oh my gosh, there is so much here. You know, it's like we can't even cover this all in a short period of time. But anyway, lots of stuff to do. Um, one thing I want to get into before I move on here um, about things to do. And I said the summer, okay, let's say between May and September. If you really don't like hot weather, maybe go more like May or September. <laughs> but there are tons of festivals and that's one of the things I loved about Chicago is during the summer, every weekend, there was something new and they would have blues fest, jazz fest, and big name people would come and you would be able to just sit down for free concerts. These were free concerts. You could come and just sit and enjoy music. Yeah. Those were great. Yeah. That's so. Awesome. Yeah, every week there was something. Of course, there's a famous Lollapalooza. Um, well, yes. That is not free, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it is famous, definitely. It's famous. I just wanted to make that clear. That one is definitely not free. <laughs> right. 
Okay, we got to close out here on our talk about food because, you know, we can't not mention food, right? Like I said, so what comes to your mind? Food. <laughs> yeah, what comes to your mind uh, when you think of Chicago food? So when I think about traditional Chicago food, right? Not like the cultural, all the little things we talked about, right. but I would, I say, would say deep dish pizza, pizza. Mm-hmm. and yeah. Chicago style hot dog. Exactly. Yeah. Those, those were the, the two, big two on my list. Yeah. Yes. Um, the deep dish pizza is uniquely Chicago. Yes. Um, and, you know, it's not the kind of thing I think Chicagoans eat every day or every week because it's very heavy. It's very filling, mm-hmm. but it's quite delicious. And it's something you definitely have to try when you go there. But in general, pizza in Chicago is going to be good. So if you go yes. to Chicago... You know, do a little research. I mean, I'm not going to recommend any places for you, but um, do a little research and definitely try the deep dish and try regular pizza because it's quite it good. Delicious. Yeah. And in fact, there is a big rivalry in pizza tastes between yeah. Chicago and New York. So, but that would be for next episode when we talk about New York. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and they're very different types of pizza. I mean, complete. Oh, yeah. It's almost like not even the same, you know, dish. It really isn't. But real quick, I want to say about the hot dogs. Very important. If you get a Chicago hot dog, there are rules for this, and Chicago ones do not play around. If you want a Chicago hot dog, you if you let's put it this way, you go somewhere and you order a Chicago hot dog, you will get this. You will get. A hot dog on a steamed poppy seed bun. And it has to have yellow mustard, relish, onions, spicy sport peppers. Those are like kind of long green, not terribly spicy, but more vinegary peppers. Mm -hmm. Tomato slices. A dill pickle spear. So like a length of a, you know, the cut lengthwise. Do they actually put a hot dog in there? Yeah, they do. (laughs) (laughs) And finally, a dash of celery salt. But guys, here's the most important thing. You cannot put ketchup on your Chicago style hot dog. Oh, come on. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. Can't do it. So yeah, try one of those if you uh, you know if you want to try uh, Chicago food. You got to have pizza, hot dog. There's also Italian beef is quite famous. Um, oh, that's true. Can't yes. tell you much about that. I don't eat that stuff. It's actually good. It's delicious for so what anyone. Is it? Who, um, so it's just the thinly sliced beef, um, but it's like it's cooked in this kind of juice, like a sauce, not juice, but like a sauce kind of. But it's a it's it's like a watery sauce. It's not like gravy or anything, but right. it has like spices in it. And then they put it on a bun, kind of like a a little bit thicker bun, not just like a hot dog bun, but like a bread bun. Um, and then you can like dip it into that au jus, they call it. Um, and it's all kind of soggy, but soft. Oh, it is so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so, so good. I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And finally, the one weird thing, I mean, now it's getting a little bit more common. Like I even see it sold here in uh in Sam's. Um the Chicago style popcorn, which is the mix of cheese and caramel. Yes. I think it's, I still think it's a mystery to me. Like, why would you put the cheese, like a salty cheese popcorn Mm -hmm. and then then the caramel popcorn together and then they mix it all. So, um, yeah, it Um. sounds ridiculous, but it's delicious. So (laughs) so there you go. That's what they, so you like it. (laughs) Yes, I do. (laughs) Absolutely. Oh, God. So, okay. Well, like I said, we could talk for hours about this, but we won't do that to you. You got the idea. Come on over to Chicago, um, have some food, go see some museums, um, take a gangster tour, you know, do all the stuff. You'll enjoy oh, it. Yeah. Just don't come in the winter. It's really cold. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. So, until next time, uh, here's to good coffee, good vibes, and great conversation. 
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>